and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is all about the trends for 2023 with clothes from 2022. 2021 and so on. The idea is that you can still be on trend with clothes you already own and I'm going to show you how. I was inspired to film this video by watching the Style Insider and her trends but instead of showing you images from Pinterest which are gorgeous, I thought why not dive into my closet and show you actual clothes because a lot of these trends have been seeping through. <laughs> So let's dive right in. I'm going to be dividing this video into two parts. The first one will focus on color, which is this one, and then I'll be telling you about texture and shape or silhouette. Let's jump right on it. My first trend, and it's one that you've already seen um, from last year, is stripes. But instead of having the, the typical black and white stripes we all saw last year, it is also picking up on different colors and bigger stripes, bolder stripes. I've got a dress here that's by Ted Baker and it is very, very old. In fact, I wore it as well when I was pregnant. I had the hem um, come up because I used to wear really high heels. This must be about 10 years old. And another one I wore quite a lot throughout my pregnancy is this one also by Ted Baker. And this picks up on another trend that we're going to go talk about later. So with stripes, think big, think bold, think you can get away with anything. Stripes are amazing. So Jump right on this trend. Another major trend is pretty much what I'm wearing, which is denim on denim. An easy way is with the jumpsuit that I have on right now. It's very easy because that is denim on denim. You can, walk, you can wear dungarees, you can wear jeans paired with say a denim shirt. You can wear jeans paired with a denim jacket. You can even go so far as to pair them with a denim blazer. The one I'm showing you is by Tommy Hilfiger and it is about 15, 16 years old. So trends come and go. And whereas in the past, perhaps we thought denim on denim was absolutely awful. And granted, it is. it takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, nowadays, it seems to be in and I for one love it. So why not? Another nod to the trend is to go for a denim maxi skirt. So denim on denim, and there are loads of ways to style this. Use your imagination and get going with denim, the most versatile pieces you can have in your wardrobe for sure. The color of this year as defined by Pantone is Viva Magenta. You gotta love the name, Viva Magenta. Anyway, it's 17, it's uh, 18, 17, 50, I believe T, uh, TCX, but I'll link it up on the screen. It is an off red with a pinkish hue and a lot of the things we're seeping through are t picking up from that color. Funnily enough, I didn't see a lot of fashion with that color. I saw a lot of makeup. I've got a shirt here that picks up on that shade. This is from last year. I didn't see a lot of fashion with this color though, but I did see a lot of pastel blue, sky blue, uh, duck egg blue, whatever blue you fancy. It's a light shade of blue. Blue is all over the place. And it is a color that I love, as you may have noticed from other videos. And the way I'd be styling this is with my floral print dress. It is very much calling to spring. The dress has long sleeves. It's a bit cold outside still, so I can wear this now as a transition shade. And think um, about wearing blue monochrome, so blue from head to toe. That is a really, really trendy look. You can just pair this with a pair of um, denim jeans as well. I mean, that will look amazing. Why not? So I didn't see a lot of magenta, but I did see a lot of blue. This is one of those uh, crochet type knits, which is another big trend, crochet, by the way. Um, I've had it for many years and I love just wearing it with a white tank and a pair of jeans or a pair of jean shorts. I can wear it either with the front like this or I can make that the back. And it also adds a really cool touch. As you know, I like pairing things in different ways. And another touch of neon is lime green. I've got here a sports top, and sports is another big trend, sports likes. Uh, and you know I'm all about um, reusing my clothes or, or wearing them in different ways than what they're intended. So I'd wear this with a pair of jeans as well and perhaps a blazer to make it a little bit chicer. It is definitely something that I'm gonna be picking up on because I love a pop of neon and green, uh, this color, I'm not really sure what to call it, yellow. It's something that will bring vibrancy to any look to keep it a little bit edgier. Another thing we're seeing is daytime shine. 
We already had a lot of shine last year with sequins and I'm gonna be showing you my sequin skirt because I, I used it in quite a few videos, including my Christmas looks. I'm all about daytime shine, but it does need to be in moderation. You don't wanna look like a disco ball. That is perhaps a bit too much, but a touch here and there of daytime shine, it will really elevate your look. I've had these trousers for a very, very long time. They're from Zara. Um, a little bit, they're supposed to be cropped. They would be cropped on a very tall person. They're not cropped on me. They're absolutely perfect on me. So another tip if you're petite. And I'd pair this with a plain white tee and a pair of trainers, for instance. Great look. If you want to add a blazer, do. It will also make it into a more office appropriate look with some brogues perhaps. Uh, but I do like to keep the focus on one piece only and it's the same with my sequin skirt Which I paired in the winter with a chunky knit in the summer I pair with a white tee and a pair of trainers as well and that's it. It's my daytime shine It's my nod to this trend and it is something I've been doing for many many years now I've saved the best for last which is beige monochrome. So I've got here a blazer um, very very plain simple classic timeless piece. I'm all about monochrome because it elongates you. It makes you look slimmer. I'm all about beige. So beige monochrome being a trend for me is nothing new. It's just, I'll keep doing what I've been doing now for the past, I don't know how many years. Neutrals are amazing because they always make you look sophisticated. They're easy to style and you just, you can't go wrong if you are head to toe in beige. I'm giving you one alternative. I could pick about 55,000 others from my closet because I do love it, as I said. But here's a simple take, a pair of nice tailored trousers, a more casual blouse with a hoodie, which you know I love, a blazer to up the look and make it office appropriate, and a pair of nude heels, which are always amazing for lengthening your look. As you can see, it's really easy. It lengthens me and I love it. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this pick of trends, wearable trends that pick up on what we've had in the previous years and just take it up a notch. Luckily, um, trends come and go. You don't need to be on trend to be stylish. Style is about you. It's about feeling comfortable. And that's why I've showed you the ones that I'm most comfortable with and that I would use regardless of being on trend or not. In my next video, I'm gonna go through texture and shape or silhouette. So the things that we're gonna see that are slightly different, not so much focusing on color. And I hope to see you then. Please like, comment, um, share my videos, subscribe to my channel, hit that notifications bell and enjoy shopping your closet filled with spring colors.